Hello guys, this is Octagon, and today I will be fulfilling my promise to do STEM things of all types, and I'm going to be halfway, well not halfway there, but a fourth of the, yeah, actually halfway there, of fulfilling um, my goal. My first two videos that I have done um, were science. One was a song about the ocean, and the other was a short story about an octopus. Now I'm doing math. Yay! Today we'll be will we we will be covering simple interest formula. Let's look at this simple interest formula. This is I equals P. RT. What is this I and these PRT? Well, I is the interest. How much? How much is added to your big stack of cash that you put in to the um to the money bank thing? So, P, P equals the principal amount. How much money you put in to the bank? Let's just say the bank. P is how much money you give into the bank. R is the rate in decimal form for the year. Sometimes rate works um, quarterly, sometimes every half a year, sometimes every two years. You want to make sure that rate and time are the same or for the same thing. If your time is in years, then your rate must be also for years. Not for years, but in years. The times, your rate and time has to match up in that regard. So time, time in years. Years is a good measure stick. So time, how long you put your, your big, how long you let your big stack of cash wait? Let's do some math. I already did it. I equals 500 times 0.25% times 3. You want to know why I chose 0.25%? It's the target interest rate in America is 0.25%. Well, at least that's what I heard from the internet. Um, so let's math it. That equal because of the commutative property of multiplication and because I don't want to deal with um, that thing yet. Oh, uh, this is going to be 1,500. 1,500 times 0.25%. sorry. Did I say 1,400? 1,500. I equals 1,500 times 0. 0.0025%. I'm not percent point zero zero two five. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak today. If anyone wants to, um, this number has been gave me some difficulty. So if anyone wants to dispute that, point two five percent equals point zero zero two five. Um, tell me in the comment section below. That equals. I equals three dollars and point seventy five cents. We'll talk about what to do with that number later. Next problem. That was problem one. This is problem two. I equals one thousand times one percent times ten. One percent is another common interest rate from the bank. It's a bit on the high end. The bank doesn't like like to give you money it, it thrives on taking your money 
and snatching it away. It doesn't even have everyone's money that they put in there. They're lending and trading and hoping that everyone doesn't or a critical mass of people don't come in at the same time and ask for the money because they don't have everybody's same amount of money. They're, they're, some people say walking on a tightrope. They're not walking on a tightrope. They're walk, they're in a cartoon where they're walking in thin air and hoping that no one notices so that they don't fall. Um, anyways, I equals 1000 times 1% times 10. $1,000 you put in, 1% is the interest rate, and 10 is 10 years. Um, that, that last one was 3 years. This one is 10 years. I equals 1,000, uh, well, not 1,000, um, 10,000, I, uh, I equals 10,000 times is point zero one. So you may be wondering why is there no multiplication symbol? Um that's because I forgot. Oh yeah, I'm also left handed. Sorry that's ugly. I hope that gets the point across. So that me so when you multiply all of that together, you get I equals one hundred. So three this is three point seven five dollars. You add this to the um the principal amount, and that's how much money you got after letting your money sit for this many years. For problem one, you'll get five hundred dollars. $503.75 in three years. For problem two, you'll get $1,100 in 10 years. That's a long time waiting. That's a lot of patience you need. And, and when the bank charges you, the percent is going to be through the roof. You see 0.25 and 1.25% per, 1 and 1%. 1 well, the bank, I, I looked it up, the bank charges 18% or 20%. Do you see a problem with that? Do you see how... Their interest rates are always up h much higher than, well, when you, when they give you money, but when you give them money so that, you know, um, they can survive, their interest rate, the money they give you is super low. $1,100 is a lot, but in 10 years, that, that, that's not enough. Eleven hundred dollars divided by ten. That's how many years. That's one hundred and ten dollars a year, and um, no, that's not enough to live. And this is if you let it sit for ten years. Um, if you let a thousand dollars sit for ten years. You get eleven hundred. Let's do the other thing. Um, five oh three point seven five divided by three. Um, the bank. I think the bank rounds down, so that be um. One six 
$167.91. Maybe if you're lucky, $167.92. Um, that's also not enough to live each year. And that's if you keep it in for three years. Um, so, um, oh, and just remember, if everyone comes at the bank at the, goes to the bank at the same time and asks for their money, the bank doesn't have all that money. It doesn't have everyone's $503.75 and $1,100 and thousands of dollars people are put in the bank. They lend and trade so that when you come to the bank, most likely they'll have your money. So just wanted to say, um, banks be stealing. Bye now. And that's how you calculate the simple interest formula. By Octagon Spaghetti Ree.